for people that don't really understand what purple teaming is, could you please elaborate a bit on that? Because red and blue, it's very easy to understand, like mm. it's the defensive and the offensive side of things. But then the purple team, do they work together? Do they try to uh, mess up each other's work? <laughs> what do they do, actually? <laughs> <laughs> also, I... Um... <sighs> The way I see it, I see purple teaming as a continuous improvement yeah. exercise. Um, purple teaming is not something that you do once and then call it a day or put it away in a box and be like, that was great. We learned a lot and then never do it again. Purple teaming is a collaborative exercise that is meant to be continuous mm -hmm. to me. So I think that understanding um, understanding how various threats attack chains that come from the real world can apply to a particular environment. I think that's important. And I think understanding it at a deeper level, deeper than just, um, Hey, you have eternal blue on your domain controller. Yeah. You should patch that, right? Just patch it, install the patch. Um, that will help a lot. It's, it's more granular. It's understanding what threat actors are actually doing step by step. That's mm -hmm. why we talk about TTPs, right? Tactics, techniques, procedures. It's it's a deeper level than just finding a vulnerability and running an exploit. It's understanding attacker behavior at each point of the cycle. So running purple team exercises through a life cycle model yeah. and using that as a continuous improvement strategy that is ultimately what generates the value. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Yeah.